Hey, it's John here, and I'm going to start a series of Datomic tutorials. Uh, I've been using Datomic a little bit, and uh, I really, really like it. I don't like the documentation at all. There's a lot to be desired, especially uh, along the lines of error messages and things like that. Uh, but the ideas and the architecture, I think, are really great, and uh, I hope a lot of people adopt it because. I would really like to use it for a lot more stuff. Um, so, to start off with this video, uh, I just want to show you how to download the free edition and uh, just kind of get up and running. So, you can just go to uh, datomic.com, Google Get Datomic, should take you here. Um, download the latest version here agree to the terms and conditions download the file and basically here we're going to end up with the, uh, the zipped up file I'll just extract it here okay so now I have this uh, datomic free something something nine dot everything and then uh, all the all the files are within he, in this directory that you need, and especially in the in the bin directory. Uh, the first thing here is uh, let's open the terminal and then, and then back out of the bin directory because that'll mess up class paths, class paths, and things like that. Uh, so you always want to run stuff from the top level directory. Uh, so. I think the first thing we want to do is um, install any kind of maven dependencies so there is a bin slash uh, maven install bin slash maven install so you want to do that uh, it'll put in all the Maven details so it'll work with landing in and everything. Um, so then the next thing to do is um, probably download the console, which if you do another search you can find the console. It doesn't come with the free version, it comes with the pro version. Um, so if you didn't get the pro version you can go ahead and download this separately. Okay, so now my console is downloaded. I can extract here. Okay, and then you, what you want to do is take take the stuff uh, from the console and then stick it in your installation directory. So we just want to merge all the files in. Okay, so now we have the the console which will let us sort of view the database through a web browser and then the whole Datomic system installed now. So uh, what we want to do is we want to start a transactor so that we can connect to it. Uh, and inside of config samples there is a free transactor template. So you can just use that to start with. Uh, and that will run an H2 database locally that will save data just to this directory. And uh, let's see, read me. I think this getting started is the thing to follow. here we scroll all the way down we don't need the license key uh, but we need this this line here is basically what we want to do in order to 
get our transactor up and running. So bin transactor, and then we're going to do samples, sorry, config, samples, and then there's the free transactor template properties. So if we run that, it sets up the transactor running at Datomic free localhost 4334. And um, so now that we have a transactor, we can go ahead and put in some data. Uh, I have opened up their getting started.clj from the samples. Uh, so the thing to do is we're going to make this project, uh, make it a landing project, and then add in a dependency to Datomic Free, which will work now because it's, it's in Maven. And you just use the version number that you downloaded. Okay, so now we can start up a REPL. And So we can just include our reference to the Datomic or use it and pretty print. Okay, here's where we're going to change the file a little bit uh, because we're going to have Datomic free. We essentially need the path that the transactor told us. We can actually just copy this up to the DB name parameter. Okay. So now we can make that a URI and then we can try to create the database. And that worked, which is great. Uh, so now we ha we've made the database. We can connect to that database. And then uh, they have a um, an Eden file that has the schema. So let's open that. That is actually here. The schema. Let's see. So there's this big long schema. So it's in an Eden data format, which is pretty handy. And uh, we're just going to slurp that file in and then make a transaction. that will set up the schema for our database. Okay, so now we have this schema transaction that's slurped in from that file. And we can see, yeah, it just looks like regular closure data. We'll go into what all this means later. And uh, so now we just wanna run the transaction on our connection. Uh, a little something a little different with Datomic is you have to sort of think about what you're doing. You run transactions against the transactor and not against the database. Um, because the database ends up being a value and you can't really you don't run transactions against a value. You run transactions against the, the transactor. So here we will run this transaction on the connection with 
the schema transaction data. Okay, and then after we run it, we'll get a map back that gives us what the database before the transaction was, what the database is after the transaction that happened. The, the data from that. Okay, so now that we've run that, um, we can go in here and let's open up the console. So we can open the terminal and we can do um, so we can find our instructions here. So we just need this command here. So we're going to do bin console choose a port uh, 8080. It's taken by me, so I'll bump it up to 81 to have a free port. And then it'll be datomic, uh, not dev, but free localhost. Okay, so this starts up the console and it tells us that we can use this link to open that in our browser. Uh, copy that and paste it here. Oops, that's all what I want. Just localhost. Okay, so then our storage is called dev, and we will select our database, which is Seattle, and we'll populate that and see some data. Now, so the schema is really just a bunch of attribute names and what type of value they can have. Uh, we can look and see the transactions that occurred. We only had one transaction that was this big Eden file that we used. And here are the things that happened. An entity attribute value. And essentially we just defined a bunch of attributes as our transaction. Anyway, that is how you get up and running with Datomic. So now you have a way to download Datomic, install it, start up a transactor that's going to persist the disk, and put some data in there, and then look at it through the console. All right, thanks for watching.